So your four-year-old wants to play the violin. As much as you want to feed that enthusiasm, you know it's the same enthusiasm she had yesterday for being an architect and the same that she may have for being a veterinarian tomorrow. These thoughts lead to more questions. If she's going to grow up and be something other than a violinist, which is really possible, why even bother? Or, four's really young. I'm not sure this is a good idea. What if she changes her mind? Is it really going to make a difference if she studies right now? Will she even remember it? What if this is just a waste of time? Or, I don't have a musical bone in my body. I don't know what it's like to train for a musical instrument. What if I'm not any good at helping my child? Or worse, what if I hold her back? These questions and concerns are normal. It's natural, responsible, and shows that you love and care for your child. Dr. Suzuki has plenty of literature that addresses these concerns. One of my favorite books of his is Ability Development from Age Zero, which is a sobering letter written with love and candor to parents on how to raise their children. This is Rachel Sampson from Chili Dog Strings, and Dr. Suzuki says, The fate of a child is in the hands of his parents. As you determine if starting lessons is the right decision for you, I invite you to consider what Dr. Suzuki thinks are the five conditions for developing great ability, as shared in Chapter 2.